Okay, so welcome to Math Story, ah. and let's have this topic. So finding the derivative of logarithm, then we have this given y equals ln, the quantity of 3x plus 4. So using this formula to find the derivative of a natural log, so y equals ln u, that's du or the derivative of u over u. So for this given, this is u, so u is 3x plus 4. Then to find the derivative of u, so for the derivative of 3x, so we just need to drop this x, this one is 3. And for the derivative of a constant, this one is 0, so du is equal to 3. So to find out the derivative using this formula, so we have y prime equals du, so du is 3 over u, u is 3x plus 4. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so this one is u, so u is equal to x squared minus 2x plus 5. Then to find the derivative, so the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x minus the derivative of 2x. So we just need to drop this x, this one is 2. And the derivative of a constant, this one is 0. So du is equal to 2x minus 2. So to find out the derivative, so we have y prime equals du. So du is 2x minus 2. Then over u, so u is x squared minus 2x plus 5. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so since we can rewrite this one in exponential form, so we have y equals ln then x to the power 1 over 3. Then using the properties of logarithm, that ln x to the power n equals n times ln x. So this exponent, we can place this one before this ln. So we have y is equal to 1 over 3, then ln x. So to find out the derivative, so this is u. So u is x and the derivative of u, that's 1. So we have now y prime equals, so we just need to bring down this 1 over 3, then times du over u, so du is 1, and u is x, so therefore y prime is equal to 1 over 3x, so this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so we can write this one in exponential form. So y equals ln x to the power 1 half. So using the chain rule that y equals u to the power n equals n times u to the power n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So in this case, n is 1 half. This is n. So y prime equals 1 half times ln x, then minus 1 for the exponent. So if we have 1 half minus 1, so we can use cross multiplication. So over 1, so 1 times 1, that's 1. Then 2 times 1, so minus 2, then 2 times 1 over 2. So therefore, 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. So this one is to the power negative 1 half then times the derivative of u. So the derivative of ln x, that's 1 over x. Then simplify, so y prime equals, so this 1 half times 1 over x, that's 1 over 2x. Then we have ln x to the power negative 1 half. Then to make this exponent positive, so we need to bring down so y prime equals 1, then over 2x, then times ln x to the power positive 1 half. So this is now the 
derivative. Or if you want to convert this one in radical form, so we can have or 1 then over 2x then times the square root of ln x. Then for this given, so this is u. So u is sine x and for the derivative of u, since the derivative of sine is cosine, so we have cosine x. Then to find out the derivative, so y prime equals, so we have du, so du is cosine x over u, that sine x. Then using the trigonometric identities, that this cosine x over sine x is equal to cotangent x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so using the product rule, that uh, u times v, so equals u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. So this one is u and this one is v. So u is equal to x and the derivative of u, that's 1. Then v, that's ln x and the derivative of v. So the derivative of ln x, that's 1 over x. So using this formula, so we have y prime equals u, u is x times dv, so derivative of v, that's 1 over x, then plus v, v is ln x times du, so derivative of u, that's 1. Then simplify, so y prime equals, so we can cancel this x, so we have 1, plus ln x times 1, that's ln x. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so we're going to use the properties of logarithm that ln m over n, so we can rewrite this one as ln m minus ln n. So this one is m and this one is n. So we have now y equals ln x then minus ln x squared plus 1. Then we need to find the derivative for every term. So for this term, u is equal to x and du that's equal to 1. So for this term, so u is equal to x squared plus 1. Then the derivative of u, so the derivative of x squared, this one is 2x, and for the constant, this one is 0. So to find out the derivative, so we have y prime equals, so du for this term, du is 1 over u, u is x. Then minus for this term, du, so du is 2x over u, u is x squared plus 1. Then to write this one in a single fraction, so we need to find the LCD. So the LCD is just the product of these two denominators. So we have x times x squared plus 1. Then simplify. So to cancel this x, so the remaining, this one is x squared plus 1. Then minus, if we're going to cancel this x squared and x plus 1, so the remaining is x. So we have now 2x times x. Then simplify, so y prime equals, this one is x squared plus 1 minus 2x squared over x times x squared plus 1. Then we have now y prime equals, so x squared minus 2x, this one is negative x squared. So we have 1 minus x squared then over x times x squared plus 1. So this is now the derivative. Then for this given, so using the properties of logarithm, so we can have y equals 3 then ln x. So u is x, du is 1, so y prime equals, so we need to bring down this 3, then times, 
du is 1, u is x, so therefore y prime is equal to 3 over x. So this is now the derivative.